Hey everybody, I am Captain Steven, and this is Bama Saltwater. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. It's hard to beat a sunrise out on the water. See if we can catch us a fun fish doing some awesome, exciting jigging. Let's get right into it. I'm sitting in about 100 feet of water, nothing too crazy, but I do have a slow pitch jig. This is actually an exciting and fun way to catch some pretty high quality fish, especially without wearing yourself down. These things are extremely light, They've become very popular in the last half decade or so because of the quality fish you can catch. Like I said, you're not wearing yourself down just doing some really heavy stuff because these things are almost as light as my inshore setups. But let me show you my combo. This is a Shimano 150 size jigging reel on a grappler rod. And this rod is actually a six foot six inch and it's a medium action, medium power. And I have it spooled up with 30 pound braid. This is a depth hunter braid with about 25 foot a 50 pound mono top shot this is so you don't lose your jigs down in the wreck because braid is great until it touches something sharp and i just tied it with an fg knot from the braid to the leader you now my jig this morning is a 130 gram shimano flat fall jig these things work great there's a lot of options out there for jigs everyone has their own preference you just want to choose your weight depending on how deep you are and also how strong the current is but we're just going to go ahead and get right into it it's very simple it's very fun and i'm ready to catch some fish hope y'all are too now this video is brought to you by the better boat boat cleaning supplies and accessories they're awesome enough to provide product for the bama saltwater channel so i'll include a link down in the description below if you want to go check them out and pick you up some we're going to drop this jig down that's a pretty jig there now there's a whole lot of different ways that you can rig these things ideally you want to put a swivel on that split ring and then tie your knot to it but you can just tie straight to the split ring as well so and also you can add split rings and assist hooks to this side too but we're just keeping it easy this is straight out of the box nothing else so i'm going to drop this jig down i want it to go all the way down to the bottom because that's where i'm marking most of these fish but i'm going to give it a nice jig and let it go slack and fall to the bottom when it's on a slack line that's when that jig's doing most of the action sweeping down and that's a lot of times when you're going to get hit so i'm just going to kind of work it there and then every now and then sometimes you can reel up and you can get a pattern going it's a little bit different than high speed jigging but you can go fast if you like see i'm going fast but ideally this these jigs are designed to fall in a much more erratic motion on a slack line instead of very fast darting up oh and we're already hooked up <laughs> there we go first fish this morning ah, dang that's a good one see and the good thing about these rods is they can really take some pressure they're meant to bend and really put a load on these fish so you want to get them up from the bottom mm, that's not a bad one man oh it's pulling some drag <laughs> whatever that is is a good fish see we just got into my top shot ah, let's see what it is come on buddy is that a bonita yeah it is well we got our first fish of the day is a little toony <laughs> not what i wanted but we will keep that one because i like to use them for bait so this is the first fish of the day this is a little toony otherwise known as a false albacore or you'll hear us call it bonita a lot but these are different than the atlantic bonito you can eat them but majority of the time i use these as bait so you hear me say that a lot if you see me catch them on the channel i save them and make trolling strips out of them because look how shiny that skin is but you definitely can eat them they aren't quite up there with yellow fin tuna or black fin tuna but they are edible but they are actually really pretty fish so the key to them if you do eat them is make a slice right here and bleed them out really well and bury them in an ice but i'm going to throw him in the cooler and see if we can get our jig back down there first fish this morning but they're absolutely gorgeous so that was first fish on deck on the first drop let's drop this jig back down I'm marking a lot of fish but i'm looking more for the snapper possibly grouper oh oh <laughs> there we go oh man that was probably an amberjack dang i don't know what the heck that was look at that must have got me in the structure hmm. all right well i run a jig i 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's another fish. Come on. That's so fun. Super enjoyable because you never know when they're going to strike that jig. All right. This be something I can keep here. Ah, it is. It's a bee liner. They only have to be 10 inches too. So that is a vermilion snapper or bee liner. They just have to be 10. Yeah, he's there. But pretty little joker. These things taste amazing. We're gonna throw them in the cooler. So that was a good fish that we can keep. Those taste amazing. Anything with the word snapper in its name is good. But I did downgrade a little bit to an 80 gram jig and it wasn't by choice. I had something huge rip that other jig out and uh i guess my leader was really frayed from the structure so i lost it but this little 80 gram jig and that little glow color let's send her back to the bottom oh yeah there's a good one <laughs> come on get up here that was fun every time you think you want to move suddenly you get a bite and it makes you stay longer because it's like you go a while without a bite, you're like, well, maybe I need to go move spots. And then something decides to hit it. <laughs> Another bee liner. Boom. That's a good size bee liner too. I'll take them. At least we'll pick up some groceries morning. So nothing big yet. So now I have two bee liners, which I actually enjoy eating them. They taste delicious. You can keep them year round, but I would like to get a big old fish today, at least on the jig. And then there is a nice grass line. I marked its whereabouts so I can troll a little bit later today. Oh, that was another bite. Come on. So we're gonna take a break from jigging and actually do some trolling. That grass line's too irresistible not to troll some baits by it. So I have two identical combos. This is a Speedmaster 16 with 30 pound mono. And that's on both of them, the only thing different is the line i like to have two different color lines it just helps you differentiate between the two and these are all seven foot shimano talus rods extra heavy now i have a hundred pound leader i crimp these myself and this is a blue and white islander tracker that's a lot of stuff on this joker with the bonita strip and this is a little cmb lure this is a little flat face with the bonita strip on it as well so we're gonna go get back on that grass line and do a little bit of trolling maybe pick up a mahi or something here's the grass line so let's get this islander out I have no weight or anything, no trolling lead, just the lure itself. We're going to pull them pretty fast and we want them to stay fairly up top. We're going to get this one out as well. Now, anytime you're trolling more than one rod, you want to stagger your baits. And that's if you turn or get a fish, they're not at the same depth or the same distance back from the boat. So I'm going to put this pink one way to the back pretty much at the end of my white water or prop wash. And then I have that tracker right at the end of the main part of the prop wash. You can also count seconds, how many seconds you let it out. Some lines have a meter on there that tells you how far it is. But a lot of times it's just by feel and counting. Now these are set out, the clickers are on. This grass line goes for a pretty long way. That'll be neat to pick up something like a mahi or a nice king, but I really like a mahi mahi, but I don't know if y'all can see this grass. And luckily this time, there's not water spouts out there. The last time I was out on a grass line, it was water spouts everywhere, bad storms. So, and we got our baits out trolling. See, that's a solid grass mat there. That is awesome. Bunch of bait around it too. See if our lures pick up anything there. Hopefully they don't get a bunch of grass on them. I think I have something on this one. Let's see what you are. It ain't giant. It's a fish of some sort. Can't quite tell just yet. But that's a little jack. All right. <laughs> Little jack. Pretty sure these are Almaco jacks. If I'm not mistaken, I may be wrong. There's some sort of jack, but they are beautiful fish. Check that out. We're gonna let them go. There you go, buddy. I'll set that out. I took the strips off and I'm just trolling it straight by itself. But let's set our bait back out. Dang, look at that grass mat. 
that's a good looking one right there i'll see if our lures get hit on it i hope so if not i'll come back and jig on it a little bit so you can almost walk on that one fish on fish on i think that's a mahi yeah it is it's a dolphin Woohoo! <laughs> that's awesome y'all ah let's see which side i'm on there we go yeah we got a mahi mahi on heck yeah let's see if we can bring them in without losing them yo that is awesome he ain't a giant he ain't no bull but that's a target species <laughs> swing him in <laughs> man what a beautiful fish dolphin mahi mahi fish so nice they named it twice that saying has been around a while but man let's get this islander out of his mouth but let me show you this fish how pretty is that that is awesome that's what i wanted heck yeah if you see a grass line you have to troll or throw some sort of bait along it because these guys are hanging around what a gorgeous fish he's still got his color this is a little little chicken dolphin but it will eat good if you watch my other videos you see i caught one pretty much the same size off the state pier but that is so exciting that just made the trip they are absolutely gorgeous so we're gonna throw this one in the cooler make another loop around all right we're gonna put this islander tracker back out again that's so cool being able to catch stuff on things that you tie yourself and rig up yourself it's real simple to do these crimps beads the hook this is 100 pound mono it's very easy to do and it's fun to do on a rainy day but these are the tracker lures and probably one of my favorite trolling baits for this type of scenario so we're going to get this one out again so we have both our lures back out you know when trolling when fighting the fish you do not want to just stop the boat you want to keep it going because if you if you give any slack in that line a lot of times that hook will pull right out it makes a big hole when they hit it because you're going pretty fast the weight of the boat the lure and all that can put a big hole in their mouth so never just stop the boat when you hook up and also like that monofilament for trolling you now you can definitely do a braid backing and then have a mono top shot that means mono on top or like a wind on leader these are just light trolling rods and i have them spooled all the way with 30 pound mono and they give that nice stretch it, which gives a little leeway when those fish hit it. a little bit of shock absorption so we're going to get back on this grass line and try our luck again so this time we're going to be going opposite because this is pretty much the end of it right here so hopefully we can get another one or two or three that was awesome i've finally seen some flying fish i was trolling for a long time and had not seen any bait and i'm finally seeing some bait that's when I noticed that fish was on. So that's a good sign. You always want to look for bait. I think we're hooked up again. Oh. Yeah, we have a fish on. I don't know, it hasn't jumped yet though. Oh, it's a little bitty. I think it's another one of those jacks with a bunch of grass around it. Tell you what, these things are pretty thick out here. They're pretty though. A lot of times you can troll a little bit faster and you can eliminate some of those less desirable bites. Get that back out. Well, that grass line kind of fizzled out. We're just gonna troll at a decent pace to our next spot, maybe pick up something in some open water. I have seen a lot of flying fish in the past couple of weeks out just in the middle of nowhere. So where there's flying fish and ballyhoo, there are other species. So we're just gonna we're just going to troll a little bit, get to our next spot, and drop down the jig again. We are on. Oh, that's a good fish, whatever it is. It's pretty heavy. I'm just using the rod holder as my leverage point. Let's see. Oh. What was that? Bonita? Yeah, that's a little Bonita. Come on, buddy. There we go, buddy. That's a beautiful fish. I am going to let this one go because I already have one and I don't want to keep too many. 
So we're gonna get this D hooker. And he gone. <laughs> that was fun. Blue and white. If you don't know where to start, hint, hint, that's a place to start in the tackle shop because Lord knows there's a bunch of selection out there. That's why tackle industry is a billion dollar industry. But if you don't know where to start, go pick up a blue and white trolling lure of some sort. I like the Islanders. <laughs> We're gonna drop this back out again. We got another mile to our next spot. See what else we can pick up. So we are at a bottom spot again. Seeing if we can catch anything else on the jigging spoon. I did tie on a 200 gram spoon, a little bit bigger. I mean, the fish we want, they're big enough they can eat this no problem so we're gonna drop this down i am marking some things we're still in 100 feet of water okay there's the bottom Let's see if we can do some jigging here mm. there we go <laughs> that is a good one dang go Dang, I thought I was on the bottom for a second. <laughs> this is incredibly fun right here. So it's like light tackle bottom fishing. It's, it's super fun. That is a trigger fish and it's foul hooked around the tail. No wonder it fought hard. Trigger fish are out of season and I feel kind of bad the way it's hooked. But they are beautiful. never want to get your finger inside that mouth they can take it off <laughs> all right feel kind of bad he got hooked in the tail there you go he gone no wonder it fought kind of hard all right it's time to drop down some squid that's just some frozen squid i bought at a tackle shop on a little knocker rig they're marking a bunch of fish they're not wanting to hit the jig so we're going to try to get them with some bait this is actually very good looking squid it's not all rotten it was frozen properly so we're gonna try our luck but uh seven alt circle hook snail to 60 pound fluorocarbon i'm fishing with an eight foot heavy rod and a 5,000 size reel but i'm literally just gonna hook the squid just like that one time see if we can find us a bigger snapper that way here it goes and let's hope that dolphin doesn't eat our fish okay we're on the bottom we're already getting nibbles there's a good one there's a nice fish let's hope it's a keeper red snapper i've dropped down a whole squid so we're gonna find out what it is and hopefully flipper doesn't eat it before it gets up here mm -hmm. yeah it's a red snapper there you go he might keep too they only got to be 16 inches so we will find out mm going to go home with us with our bee liners our mahi mahi put them on ice always want to have a good ice bath and i'm ready to go back in i'm actually pretty happy with what i caught today the mahi made the trip you know it's not a giant bull but just to be able to catch one in a bay boat in the gulf of mexico is awesome it is nice and slick today beautiful weather it's extremely hot I have sweat in my eyes the whole time but it was fun. So I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm gonna head back to, and we'll close it out at the boat ramp. Head back. All right, we're back at the pass. I don't know if y'all can see me or not because it has been raining. It feels really good. Like I'm very happy it's raining <laughs> and not lightning but it cools you down because it was hot. So I want to mitigate through all this boat traffic where people don't quite know the rules of the road or which way they're going. So we're just going to uh, stand fast here and let people cross. Well, let me get this boat loaded up. I appreciate y'all for watching. Don't forget to check out the channel's supporters and sponsors down in the description below, including the Better Boat, because Lord knows I got to clean this boat today and that's going to help a lot using their products and a lot of elbow grease. If you are not subscribed yet and you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. If you already are, you know I appreciate you as always. We will see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later. That right there is a boat. <laughs> what a beautiful sport fish that is. I'm not quite sure the make on that one, but that is absolutely gorgeous.